a very, very nice 22 DSX hybrid from Coachman. This is a Freedom Express here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Um, it's been here in stock at the time of this filming for about five minutes. I try to be timely and get this stuff out to you folks because this time of year they move fast. Uh, this is super clean. One owner, they were very happy with it, so the question is why'd they swap it out? Long story short, they just wanted something a little bit bigger and fully hard sided. Um, they swapped this out for a Jayco Whitehawk here at Halitz and have been very happy since. And I tell you, if they take care of it, we got a couple motorcycles fired up, those pipes sound good. Uh, if they take care of their Whitehawk the way they take care of this thing, man, I sure hope they come see us when it comes trade in time because this is clean. Top to bottom, inside and out, everything's in its place, well maintained, no leaks, 100%, good working order, and uh, just spick and span from front to back, really. Um, the uh, What's nice here on your Freedom Express, it is a little bit higher grade lightweight as compared to a lot of them out there, that's why we carry them brand new. You'll see that you, the uh, bed supports are actually built into the trailer, it's like a little cable system here, so you don't have to monkey with any supports under here. If you're uh, coming from a pop-up into something like this, it's so easy you're going to feel like you're cheating. This does ride a little bit higher because most vehicles ride a little bit higher today. A lot of lightweights haven't figured that out yet. You're going to see a little bit nicer amenities on here, like the bigger handle instead of a little small handle. Um, even a, a little strut on the door here. So if you notice, this door, it can't get caught by the wind and slam into the awning. This door stops before the awning so that the wind can't crunch your awning, essentially. It's just smart features like that. Even with a full super slide, this one uh, comes in uh, just, just under uh, 4,500 pounds. So lightweight, easy to tow. Uh, if you have an SUV with a proper tow package, even it will handle this thing fairly well. Um, let me back up here and give you a shot of the living room. So with that full super slide, you're going to get a lot of extra leg room here that you just wouldn't get in a lot of other models. Uh, your All of your um, countertops and tabletops and everything in a Freedom Express are sealed edge. That's something that really attracted us to the brand when we first started carrying Freedom Express. It's, it's sealed, you know, if you spill a drink right here at your dining table or if you splash water around your kitchen sink or your bathroom sink, it's not gonna swell up and get soft on you. They are also just supreme at storage in a Freedom Express. They're not the only brand that has storage under the sofa or under the dinette. They are one of the few that makes it very easy to get to, however. And it's the detail stuff that separates brands to me because they all do the most of the same generic things. So what separates brand X from Y? Like, just touches. Like, they make the slide-out paneling an accent color wall as compared to the normal sidewall. It makes it feel deeper. It makes it feel uh, more open in here. And just even that sense of openness helps you on a rainy day when you're stuck inside. All of these windows open for ventilation, especially the windows on the sides of the slide outs. It's a big thing with Freedom Express. Plus, you're gonna get nicer uh, appointments in here like you got nicer pleated shades instead of metal blinds. Um, you know, look at your soft goods. This sofa has been sat on a little bit, I can see, but nothing is like torn up and scuffed up and whatnot. Everything's in good shape. I'm not seeing stains all over the place. Very well kept camper. Zero concerns with someone taking this home. Um, I like this here. I call this the timeout seat, but uh, you know, this is just a good generic uh, sitting bench right here. Good extra chair just to sit down and talk with folks. What I like about it is how you're you're easily facing everyone else in the center of the uh, in, in the in the camper. Basically, it's very social. By the way, over here is where you can hang a flat screen should you be so inclined. And this little black box is an all-in-one AM, FM, CD, DVD player, so there is no need to lug along a bunch of extra electronics. Now, a, a cool closet like this, a place to like, you know, if you want to put a little miniature hanging rod in there for coats or something like that, and a little hybrid camper is shockingly hard to come by. It's actually kind of hard to come by in most any camper. Um, it's just nice that it's there because you, you need a coat closet by the door and it's really disappointing how few RVs actually provide that for you. Don't know if you noticed, but under the sofa there were a pair of those bunk light fans. They plug into this little white uh, job right here, hang off this pole. And the whole thing is, since there's no hard shell construction around this bed, it's, it's all the uh, tent type material. Um, you need something to help push and pull and circulate air down there. And those little fans do a really fantastic job. They really do. Before those things came about, it was it, they get sticky and muggy pretty quick in these things. Uh, so, again, amazing storage, especially in the kitchen. And most hybrids just have crap for kitchen storage. I love the, the drawer under the Coachman sink. That's something they've done for years and continue to do, and it is awesome. This is an... 
American Stonecast Sink. This is a extremely good quality piece right here. What I like about it is if you're like, let's say you're, you're cooking some mac and cheese. You got your you got your water boiling. You got to drain it off. You can drain it in here. It's not a cheap plastic sink. It won't melt. Um, big overhead cabinets too. Really, I mean, here, let me show you. Here's how I know that. That's a dinner plate, right? That's a big cabinet. That's a real big cabinet. And everything tucks away nicely. Um, you know, double shelving space under the kitchen counters here gives you, you, you need all that room. You know, you can sleep six, eight people in here easily. You gotta feed everybody. Let me spin around here and give you a look from the entire super slide and pan around a little bit. Lots of lights in here too, and that's something people don't realize. Lights and windows cost a lot in a camper. And they have more of them in Freedom Expresses than a lot of lightweights. By the way, this has a good water heater system too. Gas and electric, not just gas, as tends to be the case in a small lightweight trailer. Back here is sweet. This is all that extra closet and pantry space you need. And what I like is how the cabinet on the right side of the screen right now is convertible. You can remove these shelves if you want. You see they do have a hanging storage up there. You can have as much or as little hanging storage or pantry space as you need or prefer. Nice bathroom in here too. You actually have good leg room. You have enough room you can actually put on a pair of jeans and get dressed if you need to. And they do put the shower wall panel surround, this plastic wall shower panel surround here in this shower. If not, this wall board could get damaged just whenever you happen to take a shower. Now it's not an issue. Plus we're getting both a skylight and a power vent fan, not a cheap brand that puts the vent fan above the shower, which is the cheater way of going about it. And again, sealed edge countertops so that, you know, when you're splashing water around the sink, it's not going to make a mess. It's not going to cause any damage or sponging or anything. So all in all, as far as used campers go, this gets a 10. This is in top shape. It is. Give us a call, 800-256-5196. Haywood RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Thank you, everybody. Take care. Stay safe. Happy camping. Go have a good time.